Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And uh, before we get started, let's just read this article, Let Money Flow Like Water by Ken Honda. And Orna could read all of it, but we'll just read some of it. So it says, when money is flowing in a healthy way, it comes in and out of your life with ease, and you never have to live in fear that it'll run out because it flows infinitely, as if from a natural well or hot springs. We often block the flow with our negative money beliefs and then claim that there's no water there anymore. There's barely just enough to make men's meet. I'm just destined to be poor forever. Money is the root of all evil. So we pick each of pick up these thoughts and words and believe them to be true, but in fact, this is only one side of the coin. The law of the universe will show you more evidence of what you believe to be true. So why should we insist on only believing the negative? Um, I'm blessed with abundance whenever I need it. My family always has enough. Money comes in to me in surprising ways. Like water, when our beliefs are too stuck and unhappy, the flow of money can easily freeze. You might believe that the world is a cold place and the natural flow of abundance will feel absent. When your, when your beliefs begin to warm up, the ice melts and the flow returns to a healthy state. People in a true state of abundance are so warm that their money is too much like water that it could evaporate into the, the, the air. That doesn't mean the money disappears. Quite the opposite. It's so abundant that you breathe it in and out and never think about it as you go about your day. Uh, you never have to worry that your neighbor's trying to steal a whiff of your air. You don't care because you know there's enough for everyone and someone is in need. The act of sharing doesn't make you have any less than the truest sense, right? And that's so true. And so in this video, I really want to talk about the difference between um, what I call rich people and maybe middle class and, and lower class. I don't like to use the term lo lower class, but we'll just say middle class versus uh, rich people. And you ever notice that a lot of middle class people, their mentality is just save, 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 accumulate money, and then almost do like nothing with it. And I always like it how uh, people always um, make metaphors with money and water because water always has to be moving, right? I mean, just the term cash flow, right? The, that that's that basically implies that your money is essentially always moving in a stream, and it's not just going to stay in one place. Because what's the different? Uh, what's going to happen when your money stays in one place? Or not money, water. When water stays in one place and it's not constantly flowing, basically it's going to rot. It's going to turn nasty. Same thing with your money, right? And rich people know this. That's why when they have too much money. In their savings account, they're always so anxious to use it and get it working. You know, pay people, pay employees, invest it in real estate. Whereas with middle class people, it's just basically save, 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 and then do nothing with it, right? And we always want to feel like we are blessed to have that money and spend it on the things that actually exist in the marketplace. And then once we start to spend some money, right? That's how we make more money. But so many people are afraid to spend that money, right? It's like they just cannot make money anymore. And, uh, you know, I hate to use this word, but it's kind of embarrassing just to see that, right? Like it's, it's a little bit embarrassing that so many people out there have this scarcity mentality when it comes to money. But when you go ahead and deal with real, rich people, really, really, really rich people, Man, they just they just got to spend it because they have it in its bank account. It's pretty much worthless, right? And another way that you can also think about it is that let's say you have a ton of money, okay? But the goods and services in the marketplace are absolutely no good. It's a frustrating experience, right? Yet you have this need that you need solved by other people out there, and none of them are doing it this good job, and you're willing to pay money. And it's a frustrating experience because at that point, it feels like your money is completely worthless. Ask me how, how I know because I meet once in a while frustrated people who have a lot of money and they're telling me, oh my goodness, I've tried buying this good or service out there and it was awful. That's, that's what I was told, right? So this is why you know it's kind of a mind shift that we need to have with regarding money, especially if we have that middle class mindset of just save accumulate and do nothing with your money rather than spend it again you need to spend it kind of like wa water needs to move from one place to another 
money needs to move from one place to another. And once you have made your cash flow, then that will essentially uh, be the source of your wealth rather than just accumulating, save, 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 and then do absolutely nothing, which is the, the, the I guess, master plan of most people in general, right? All right, so hopefully <laughs> whatever I said made sense, and if it doesn't, then uh, I pro it's probably because <laughs> it's 11.10 right now, and uh, I'm quite sleepy. But I'm going to crank out another video before I go to sleep. All right, well, have a great day, everybody, and we'll speak next time.